Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. As you all probably know, with the arrival of the Intel's new Skylark platform, DDR4 RAM finally became a mainstream piece of hardware, which was up until now reserved only for the X99 platform. Putting that aside, the fact of the matter is that DDR3 RAM still dominates the market share, starting from now and back as far as with Golf Town CPUs and its 1366 socket, and even some LGA775 socket motherboards, so it's safe to say that a lot of users still have it. On that note, and as some of you may notice, certain motherboard manufacturers offered few models with DDR3 RAM support for the Skylight platform also. Just like back in the day when some of the LGA775 motherboards had dual type of RAM support, DDR2 and DDR3, today we are again faced with the same situation, but one generation of RAM later. This was a great opportunity to directly compare and check out if there was any difference between DDR3 and DDR4 RAM, and should you actually transition to the Skylark platform with DDR4, or should you spare yourself $50 to $100 and repurpose your DDR3 RAM again with buying a Skylark motherboard which supports it. On that note, we had two practically identical models of Asus motherboards, the Z170P and the Z170P D3, D3 obviously standing for the DDR3 support. This put us into right position when it comes to doing a comparison, as we need as identical as possible setup scenarios for both cases. The CPU which we used was the Core i5-6400, which is probably going to be a very popular choice as its predecessor, while for the RAM we had Kingston's HyperX Savage 2x8GB 2400MHz DDR3 kit, and the Geoskill's Ripjaws 5, also 2x8GB but 3000MHz DDR4 kit. First we started off with the DDR4 platform and the Asus Z170P motherboard, where we had to dumb down the memory frequency to 2400MHz and not use the XMP profile which runs at 3000MHz, so we can level things off with the 2400MHz DDR3 RAM kit and make direct comparison easier and more accurate. After checking everything with the CPU-Z, we went back to the BIOS again, as we realized it was better to turn off the turbo boost and C states of the CPU, so we get a fixed running frequency for all cores, and again level things off, in this case with a Core i5-6400 that was 2.7GHz for the base clock. Upon finishing the benchmarking with the DDR4 RAM, we moved over to the DDR3 RAM based platform and the Asus Z170P D3 motherboard. Here we loaded up the 2400MHz XMP profile of the HyperX Savage RAM and once again set up and fixed the CPU frequency to its base clock and ran the benchmarks. So, what's the final conclusion? If we are talking about DDR3 versus DDR4 running at the same speed, the results are pretty much the same in comparison to each other within a margin of a measurement error. As you can see, there's just a slight difference and constant advantage with DDR3 in this case, just because of its lower latencies, but in the end that's really not a big of a deal since we are talking about 1-2% to difference at max, being it either synthetic benchmarks, real-life applications or games. When we talk about RAM, there is one thing you should always bear in mind and that's the fact that the RAM speed itself is really not an issue when it comes to user experience, as the only thing that matters with it is its capacity. It doesn't matter if you have 1866MHz or 3400MHz kit, you won't feel any difference as an end user in a way it will matter, only in cases if you are using an integrated GPU, which performance depends on the speed of the RAM itself, as it replaces the dedicated video memory, which usually comes on dedicated graphics cards. In the end, basically, if you want to move to the Skylark platform and you are pleased with your current amount of RAM and you have a decently fast DDR3 RAM kit from 1866MHz and above, definitely choose a motherboard which supports DDR3 RAM, as there's no real reason for you to buy DDR4 RAM and spend more money, instead of repurposing your existing and equally good RAM. The only problem that we see in this picture is in the fact that there aren't a lot of interesting Skylake motherboard models which support DDR3 RAM, especially if we talk about more visually and feature-wise appealing models, for example you won't find an Asus Skylake Z170 Republic of Gamers series of motherboard based on DDR3 RAM, but rather just those more budget-oriented models. On the other hand, if you're not an enthusiast or high-demanding user, this shouldn't be a big problem for you.
Thank you guys once again for checking out our video comparison between the DDR4 and DDR3 RAM on the Intel Skylake platform and we hope this helped you in some way or at least spared you a couple of dollars. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions in regards of the next video and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.